HDUS has never been better. My name is King Line, and I've been working on a project with these guys to showcase all new features. And I'm so excited to show you guys how to set up HDUS and some of the things I think you'll want to see. To get started, we're going to check out www.hdus.dev. From there, we're going to select the download option. Drop down to the 64-bit for most computers. From there, go to where you downloaded it. Go ahead and select next. Desktop icon is completely optional. And of course, install. You'll now see HDOS. Let's go ahead and check it out. Wait, before you start, let's make this the best experience. There are plugins, but first we need to touch on some of the settings. All right, I'm gonna make this very short and sweet to the point. We're gonna go to all settings like normal. We're gonna go to display. Definitely have to select ultra. This will make your game look so nice, I promise you. Now I do recommend you check these out for yourself. The nice thing is, even a very old computer can run the maximum settings on this. You should have no problem hitting 60 FPS. <clears throat> Now, if you're not a fan of the HD textures, you can disable this by going to display, disable in textures. This will bring back the old school RuneScape with all the new features. But if you are running Ultra, this is what your game should look like. Looks good, right? Let's go ahead and talk about some plugins now. To use HDUS plugins, there are two ways to go about it. Option one, you can go to your settings in the bottom right hand side, all settings, and then at the very bottom of the list, you will see plugins. Option two, you can go to the top right hand side of your screen. You'll see a sidebar, select it, show quick settings. You'll then see a long list of over 200 plugins HDUS supports. To save some time, you can import plugins from Runelight directly to HDUS. Go to your plugins, once you select plugins, scroll down just a little bit, you will see profiles. Go ahead and select any one of these. It should be default for you. From there, we're gonna go to import profile, import from Runelight, import config profile. From there, go ahead and select the one you'd like to use. Once you've selected it, it will enable all the plugins that are compatible with HDOS from Runelight. A few of the more popular plugins would be the XP Globes, Tile Markers, and of course, XP Boost. Quest Helper, check. Shortest path? Why not? <laughs> Menu Andrews Hopper? Yup. Clue Scroll Helper? Most definitely. You can rearrange the plugins to your liking. You can disable the plugins if you so choose to. You can even favor the plugins you love most. We've got so much more to show you, so come start your next adventure on HDOS.